No, mommy, I'm 16. I'm 16. I'm 16. I'm 16. How are you? I'm 24. Oh, yeah, I'm younger than you. Let me introduce that to turn it off. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I didn't want to be a veterinarian. Okay. And so, like, when I started taking the classes, I was, like, taking away that everything was dairy this, mm -hmm. beef this, you know, horse this, cow this, I you know. I love animals as well. I would have loved to bring my babies to a fashionable vet, like a black vet. I'm so biased with black people. Like, I love to see black people in, in different fields. Yeah, so I, would, yeah. I would have loved to see you as a veterinarian. Like, yeah, scare my kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I would have been bragging about you. Baby, but once I started looking at it and looking at how much student loan student loan debt I would have been in compared yeah. to the amount of money that I would have been making, what they say the math just went mad. And the math just went mad. Right answer, we gotta move on, nah. I mean, and the amount of time that it would have taken me mm -hmm. to get it all completed, like girl, I would still be in school right now. Yeah. Like, and time is a We can't be wasting too much time now. Well, they say time is like the most precious thing. Exactly. You I, can get anything. You can get money back. You can get money back. Anything okay. with a receipt, you can get it. <laughs> but time is gone. Yes. Sure. Yes. So, like I said, once I looked at the time that I was, on, it was just a lot of sacrificing that I just. Mm -mm. Right. And plus, I really didn't want to do it. And just, I'm just so at all because everything is so beautiful in here. Thank I love you. it. And just listening at you talk, you talk so well. I guess that's why you make the best motivational speaker I'm seeing because I'm stalking your face. Like, okay, she's speaking good, she's talking good, she's looking good, and you, she smells good too. So that's, so that's just the perfect combination. Uh, I would say the public speaking, mm -hmm. I'm. I haven't been public speaking that long. I got really? not long at all. So last July, there was a lady. She has a nonprofit. She's um, I want to say she's from Dallas, Houston. Don't make me quote it. But she had an event at but the Butler Town Hall, okay. and I was actually like a backup person because the person that they were supposed to get to speak, she kind of had something to do, and they were like, um, so they reached out to me, and I was like, I was so nervous. I'm like, sure, I'll do it. But that was like my first speaking gig. And once I spoke there and just told my story, like I was trans, I feel like the number one thing with speaking is you have to be transparent. You have, you have to, to to let people know, like, hey, I'm human. To you be, know, the, 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 to be relatable is a wonderful thing, and that's I think that's why a lot of people gravitate towards you because you are relatable, Miss Thing. <laughs> I said, okay, <laughs> yeah, but to to say that you was a quote unquote Plan B. God works in mysterious ways. Cause now look at you just right. talking about well. Thank you, thank you. And I was, I was a plan B. And it's like once I did that speaking engagement and so many people like gravitated to me and they heard my story and they were inspired by it. I was like, you know what? I like doing this. And I'm like, I tell my friends all the time, my friend, um, do you know Adrian Harrell? He's like the chef. He cooks around here. He I does. Don't know. You don't, don't know. Him? Girl, it's like this. <laughs> okay. But he's like my best friend. He's single. <laughs> he's single. He's single. He's single. I, I don't know that. <laughs> but he's like my best friend. And um, I was telling him, he was like, "Girl, you went from this person that would because like we, I have a prayer line. I have my church's prayer line. Me and him would like pray all the time. But I would always tell him like, you pray, you pray.' He was like, "You went from this person that wouldn't even pray out loud over the phone, wow. not in person over the phone, to now doing public speaking engagements." He was like, well, "And I thought about it, like when he put it into perspective for me like that. I'm like, yeah, I was this person that would be like really shy, like girl, I would go on job interviews and blow it." <laughs> Well, when it's time to shine, you gotta shine. What's your zodiac sign? Sagittarius. What's yours? Well, December 18th is my birthday. Oh! <laughs> okay, so we got another Sag yes, in the house. It made sense. I said, this girl decorated like me. I said, okay. <laughs> and that was making sense. Okay. See, I like it even more now. I'm a little biased with that too. We just had the series. Wait a minute. November, December. November. Oh. November 29th. Oh. November 29th. I mean. You're crazy. No, I'm not. I'm them, not. Them November Sagittarius is ruthless. <laughs> I was like really this close to being a Scorpio, but the cutoff is the 26th. Right. Okay. Look, it could have been more. You could have been a Cancer. I can't stand on that. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> what's What's next for you? Like what's the next? What's, what's on your agenda for this year? I'm gonna tell you. Like I was talking to my brother. Mm -hmm. He and I had lunch the other day. Um, and I was telling him, like, right now, God, he just has me here. He has me in Louisiana. He has me in a meet. And he just, he's just been showing me so many things. He's been putting me in the 
presence of so many people. Um, like right now, I am the vice president of the Amy Chamber of Commerce. And basically, what we work to do is promote the local businesses here in Amy. And when I joined, I was just kind of trying to get the hang of things. And they were asking me, like, do you want to be on the board? And then I went from being on the board to now being the vice president. And we've been doing a lot of work with that. But it's like, I just, I feel called to serve. Called to serve. Like, I feel called to do something in this community, you know. Because my brother, my other brother, my oldest brother, um, Craig, he was like, sister, I can't wait till your business gets big and you get the heck up out of Amy. And I, and I told him, and he told me this like months ago. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I just, I don't see myself doing that. You know, this community has served me so well. Like they've supported me. You know, it's only right that I do my part to give back. I'm like, what good would it do if I did like everyone else who made a name from the for themselves and left? I'm like, why, why would I do that when my grandmother, my grandfather, they were um, two prominent people in Amy. Mm. They started a ministry in Amy, and they owned a business together in Amy. And from the ministry that my grandfather started, he had a lot of people, um, like drug, like drug addicts, people who were just down and out. They would come to him, come to the ministry, and pretty much change their whole life. Like I kid you not, people who said that they were in and out of jail, stealing from their own family, are now ministers today. I mean, this was years ago, but just the fact that you can have that type of impact on someone's life. So it's like, why just write this town off like the people here don't count, like people here don't matter? Because we do matter. So it's like, I'm just trying to do my part to invest. Invest. So what's the next for me is just, I would say, doing God's work and just being as open as I can to serving my community. I know that's right. <laughs> Jeff, look, I took my girl to church. <laughs> I don't want to corrupt you now. So I think <laughs> this is such a God for you. Here I am just <laughs> oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. And I have my little cup <laughs> that, that was beautiful. Thank you. Come on, Thank now. you. Well, if people wanted to find you on social media, like, what's your go to uh, platform? My go to platform is that um, I would have to say face, definitely Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Um, Facebook, I am owner Duchess Tresses just because people are like, why you don't put your real name on there? I'm like, that's just who I am. Yeah. I mean, most people call me Duchess anyway. I love that. <laughs> most people call me Duchess that's anyway, so it's just, it just made Duchess. sense to be owner Duchess Tresses. And on Instagram, I am underscore Ayana B. Ayana B. Ayana B. Ayana B. Nah. <laughs> I just want to get nosy. Have you always been um, the fashion girl? Like, have you always had a thing for fashion? Because I love when you put things together. It's so classy, but still have a, a piece of sass. It's cute. Let me be honest with you. Like, my oldest brother, mm -hmm. Craig, again, he was always this person that kind of, like, put me out there. He always, like... I kid you not, and not to brag, like, I would be in seventh and eighth grade wearing thousand dollar heels. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Who you went to? <laughs> like, I would literally be in like eighth grade, and he would go buy me like Louboutins, and he would buy me like Louis Vuitton prices. Like, he would buy me all these nice things. Yeah. Um, and he pretty much sparked my interest in fashion. Come on, he pretty much. <laughs> Craig sparked my interest in fashion. He would go buy me all these nice dresses, these nice gowns, and he was just, I was just like his dog that dressed up. So he like, that stuck with me. And um, I don't know if I ever even told him that. Like, he, he changed my life. Well, you seen him in this video. <laughs> he changed my life. Like, he, he pushed me to be that girl. And I mean, oh. aside from that, my mom, um, of course, she always bought me nice things, but my brother was just always this person who was like into fashion and stuff. And, yeah. he, and I guess I was just his. His muse. Come on, baby. <laughs> I know that's funny. Well, I want to personally thank you for allowing me in the, the house of Duchess. Cause I always feel, welcome. And I, know, always I, I did not know until just now that I'm sitting next to the vice president. We did it, Joe. <laughs> and I feel just, ooh, this man. <laughs> <laughs> so, you did it, Joe. Girl, that's what I feel like saying because I know all this is going on. Oh, the but, more you know. The, that's what I'm saying. The more you know. Right? Which, the more you know. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was going to close it out, but I do want to ask you this. It's just listening to you talk and stuff. You never know who's going to see what. What advice do you have for a young, I'm going to say chocolate girl, but it can be any color, but you know, I'm going to stick with the chocolate. 
So a young chocolate girl looking up to you and be like, wow, she did it, I can do it too. Um, I would say... Besides what, $1,000 sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, really, for one, get to know God. Get uh -huh. to know God, because the only way you can really truly know yourself is if you get to know God. And I, it's this past year, it took for me to go through a lot of humbling experiences, a lot of, just a lot, you know, for me to get to that point where, hey, I finally know who I am. I've, I've looked at myself. I've looked at what I like. I've looked at what I bring um, to the world. Uh -huh. and, and I've realized that, hey, I owe myself a lot. And once you realize that you owe yourself so much, you just stop settling. You know, you stop settling. So my best advice is to get to know yourself. And once you get to know yourself, you'll realize like, hey, I deserve better. I got to give myself better than this. Right. You know, I got I have to give myself more than what I've been giving myself. And that just makes you get up early in the morning time. That makes you go hard. That makes you, you know, this dream that I got, this just ain't no, you know, no pipe dream. This is something that I got to bring to life. So that that's my best advice. Get to know yourself and, and don't settle. I know you're a lot older than me. They just made me feel so good. I feel like, oh, yeah, get to know me. Honey. Yes, get to know. And people be like, you in in order to get to know yourself, like I feel like you have to take time with yourself. Yeah, you know, to right really yourself. get to know yourself. You know, away from your family, away from even your friends. You know, like just time to yourself to realize, like, hey, do these friends even suit me? You know, does does, does this life does this really suit me? You know, is this or do I want more? And once you take that time to yourself away from what this person expects from you, what that person expects from you, you realize like, hey, the only thing that matters is what I expect from me and what God expects from me. And that that's the main thing, you know? And I tell everybody that we don't have to be perfect people. We just gotta be people that's that's dead set on trying. Dead set on trying. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You do have um, something coming up, right? Um, I, I don't want to get the date wrong. No, either. no, you're not getting the date wrong. It's this Saturday. It's this Saturday. It's this Saturday. I do have a speaking engagement this Saturday. It's going to be a boss conference. Um, I have been booked every weekend with speaking engagements, whether it's like business expos or like motivational women's empowerment conferences or, um, you know, like this one is a boss empowerment tea party. Oh, and that's this Saturday in Hammy. And I'm excited about it. I, I, I feel like I don't really have to prepare that much for mm -hmm. my speeches because what I talk about, it's just already be in me. Like, it's, it's, it's what I some sleep on at night, you know? Yeah, that's but it's right. like some people just got it. You know? <laughs> you said, it was bold. <laughs> nah. Now, oh, I, now I'm really closing out. <laughs> have so much just to offer and it's just like oh wow it's <laughs> we'll be out there yeah, just, man, just, i love everything you're saying it's so even i'm just sitting right here just i'm just i feel motivated you got me want to go home and put on some <laughs> shoes and go somewhere <laughs> it's like, so, put on me some shoes and, and go, go somewhere yeah, hey. right now we're gonna bring the fun out. <laughs> all right you can do it you're awesome Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. I, I truly enjoyed myself. It, I loved it, everything. I hope you guys took from it. And be sure to like, share, subscribe, and always what what you say? Trust God, honey. Trust God. Come on. Trust God. And be sure to support my girl. She is using her platform to do good, to highlight the business owners, the local business owners, and people just <laughs> understand how important that is so they don't want to hear you heads <laughs> off to you and i thank, thank you for you. having me thank you thank for you. allowing me in here girl you gonna shout at me <laughs> <laughs>